god, you look so good, baby. You light up the mat like nobody else. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 red carpet looks of the last decade. This moment, this fantasy, what, how, dreaming, how did this happen? It's so beautiful. For this list, we'll be looking at the most fabulous and influential red carpet fashion moments of the 2010s. Tell us which fit is your fave in the comments below. Number 10. Lady Gaga in Valentino Haute Couture – The A Star Is Born Premiere If there's any star so boldly unafraid to rock a red carpet, it's Gaga. The singer has been making statements on the carpet since the start of her stardom, but for her first major big screen premiere, she opted for something a little unexpected. The soft pink feathers flowed perfectly on an off-the-shoulder gown, which flowed perfectly on her. With her hair up in a bun and a soft glam makeup look, she allowed the dress to command the attention it deserved. The drama of the look is only enhanced by the gorgeous diamond earrings and matching ring. Hey. What? I just want to take another look at you. There's a wonderful balance between subtle tones and bold textures here. Number 9. Harry Styles in Alessandro Michele for Gucci The Met Gala Camp – Notes on Fashion You can't spell stylish without the first half of styles. Breathe me in, breathe me out. The Watermelon Sugar singer has become a bit of a fashion icon since his boy band days. Before we could witness the fashion Rolodex that is Love on Tour, we had to soak in every minute of Harry's first and only Met Gala appearance. It's pretty camp. What does camp mean to you? How would you define camp? Um, to me, I mean, I think it's about enjoyment and yeah. about fun. No judgment and... Um, I don't know, having fun with clothes, I think fashion's supposed to be fun. The Gucci ambassador wore a wistful mesh and lace top paired with incredibly high-waisted trousers, taking all black to new heights. What really makes this look, though, are the accessories. The world honed in on his flawless manicure and signature ring stack, and we can't forget the iconic single pearl drop earring. Hey, you nailed the look to light, man. You nailed the look. I'm a Gucci night, y'all. I can breathe again. Number 8. Billy Porter in Christian Siriano, 91st Annual Academy Awards. Breaking the rules is always in fashion. I remember being in drama school and, you know, talking to my friends and being like, I'm gonna wear a gown to the Oscars. You know, the boys are so boring, they, they're in the same penguin suit every time. I'm not gonna do that. While little black dresses and tuxedos never seem to go out of style, combining the two was pretty groundbreaking. Billy Porter's tuxedo dress dominated news and social media outlets. When I say it's like the Oscar dress that resonated across the world and changed the conversation for everybody forever. That is not what I was expecting. The sleek black tux top flowed seamlessly into the bountiful gown to create one daring ensemble. Sure, the shock value got everyone to notice the outfit, but what makes this a favorite of the decade is the quality and fit of the piece. The look was so iconic that he even brought it back for the 2023 Golden Globes, this time in deep red and pink hues. Could this be a new calling card for the Pose actor? You can't repeat. No. So I said, I'll, so I'll serve you something else. And Christian came up with this Christian Siriano special. Number 7. Taylor Swift in Atelier Versace, 58th Annual Grammy Awards the Grammy Award-winning music artist started off her career as the sweet Southern Belle with long golden ringlets and a guitar. Much like her sound, her style has evolved. She stunned at the 2016 Grammys with a bold new look. The two-toned two-piece set paired with the blunt bob solidified a new image for the singer-songwriter. The first woman to win Album of the Year at the Grammys twice. The hot pink and coral tones added a wonderful warmth to the look and edged up her reputation. Wink nudge. We all know that the choker was a 2016 staple, but the colorful stones added a unique playfulness that really tied the look together. Incidentally, much of her positive rebranding can be attributed to long-term stylist Joseph Cassell Falconer. Someday when you get where you're going, you'll look around and you will know that it was you and the people who love you who put you there. And that will be the greatest feeling in the world. Number 6. Beyonce in Givenchy The Met Gala China 
through the looking glass. Paparazzi catch my fly and my cocky fresh. I'm so reckless when I rock my Givenchy dress. While mesh dresses may saturate today's fashion world, it was a bit taboo for the 2010s. However, if anyone has the power to influence the world, it's Beyonce. The singer wowed in a barely there Givenchy gown, cleverly placed crystals cascade down to the train in beautiful sparkling shades of pinks, greens, and golds. Meanwhile, the super high pony put the spotlight on the open back cutout of the dress, and the see-through material also allowed us a sneak peek at her platforms. The superstar's fashionably late arrival was well worth the wait. Number 5. Blake Lively in Versace The Met Gala, Heavenly Bodies, Fashion and Catholic Imagination Who would have thought that Catholicism could spark so much creativity in fashion? This theme arguably brought out the most beautiful and innovative outfits for the gala. Even with stiff competition, Blake Lively managed to be a standout. Christian Louboutin made the most beautiful shoes. I just love this look so much. I just thought it was just so striking. She's proven her status as a fashion icon over the years, with bold looks like the gold and feathered gown at the previous year's red carpet. But Heavenly is truly the only way to describe 2018's look. I think that when my kids are like, you know, giving me attitude. I'm like, this is your mom. Like, come on. I'm an actual. I like try to tell them that I'm real life royalty and that <laughs> they're lucky that I'm raising them. They don't buy it. They don't believe it. From the beaded corset top to the ornate red train to the golden headpiece, the whole look presented as regal. Blake herself has even dubbed this fit as a favorite from her career. To make things even more impressive, she's never had a stylist. That's right, Lively is always in charge of what she wears. I get very involved in the design of the dresses. I don't know if it's just that I'm a Virgo or that I need a life. Number 4. Angelina Jolie in Atelier Versace 84th Annual Academy Awards The legendary leg pop I mean, I'm pretty sure that leg trended for years and years. That's so funny. <laughs> so <laughs> what funny. Do you think of that? Angelina Jolie is widely known for her incredible acting skills and undeniable beauty. However, after the 2012 Oscars, it was all about the slit in her dress. The strapless velvet gown had a thigh-high slit that commanded everybody's attention. The actress kept it simple with black heels and an alluring red lip. This look proved that black dresses are always a tried and true option. According to Jolie, though, she almost wore something completely different. Supposedly, the Versace gown was the more comfortable second option. Yeah, it's comfortable. <laughs> And you wear well. <laughs> we can't imagine it would have topped her final pick, though, which took over social media with plenty of memes and a trending hashtag Angie's right leg. I think when you feel comfortable, when you feel yourself, which is very much the theme of the film, and we know this in life, you, 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 you know, embrace it. You embrace it, yeah. and then sometimes, and then maybe it appears to be a thing. I don't know. Yeah. Number three, Lupita Nyong'o in Prada, 86th Annual Academy Awards. Pounds of cotton, day in, day out, more than any man here, and for that I will be clean. Lupita Nyong'o came out swinging, both on screen and on the red carpet. Not only did she win the Oscar for her debut role in 12 Years a Slave, she also won while wearing one of the most stunning gowns to ever hit the red carpet. So this is a custom-made Prada gown, okay. and it was inspired by champagne bubbles because we wanted to celebrate this wonderful occasion. The beautiful sky-blue fabric made it look as if she was floating. The pleated, deep-cut gown offered us just a hint of sparkle at the hem, making this a modern-day princess moment. The simplicity in the design and the color choice is what makes this so breathtaking. Here's a star who doesn't need to be covered in massive jewels or layers of heavy fabric to shine through the sea of celebs. So far, I've only worn things that l I love and right. you know, and that make me smile and make me feel beautiful. Number two, Zendaya in Dolce and Gabbana. The Met Gala, Ray Kawakubo slash Comme des Garçons, Art of the In-Between. Zendaya gives us variety, but every single one of her looks is a hit. 25 years old and we're talking about you being a fashion icon. 
How does that sit with you? <laughs> it's a little bit, um, I, I, it's one of those things that's kind of, you know, a, a dream and beyond my, my imagination. Her model-esque features allow her to wear literally everything with grace. We've seen her keep it sleek and sexy, and just as easily switch to more powerful, masculine tropes. Perhaps most jaw-dropping was her choice to go big at the Met. I had, uh, listen, iconic. Iconic moment. Bold, bright birds patterned the off-the-shoulder gown. While the sheer size of the skirt might lead others to a less-is-more mindset for the remainder of the look, she wowed us with voluminous hair and a bold lip. One of the reasons Zendaya is such a young fashion icon is because there is thought put into the entire look from head to toe. Each time and every time she makes an appearance. I'm one of those people that would rather just do the carpet and nothing else, which is usually <laughs> the opposite of everyone else. Everybody wants to like avoid the pictures. I love it. You know what I mean? Like Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Jennifer Lawrence in Calvin Klein, 83rd Annual Academy Awards. Keeping it simple and sleek. Natalie Portman in Victor and Rolf, 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards. Red and pink paired perfectly. Anne Hathaway in Armani Privé, 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards. Can't Go Wrong with Rose Gold. Gwyneth Paltrow in Tom Ford, 84th Annual Academy Awards. Understated yet eye-catching. Ariana Grande in Vera Wang, The Met Gala, Heavenly Bodies. Fashion and Catholic Imagination, absolutely angelic. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Rihanna in Guo Pei. The Met Gala, China, Through the Looking Glass. Queen of the night. Break it up. It's not enough. It's not enough. Beautiful. <laughs> With star power like Rihanna's, every day is a catwalk. She's the queen of showing up and showing out. From basically inventing the naked dress to bringing back the baby doll gown, it's hard to choose just one favorite look. However, it's impossible not to bring up the Yellow Queen ensemble. Wait. Drink the moment. Drink it. Thank you this so much. This is rare much. life. You are so inspiring Thank to so you. many people. You're going to inspire people in this dress. The fur-trimmed gold dress had a 16-foot-long train and weighed in at something like 50 pounds. The incredible intricacies of the cape paired with the ornate headpiece left onlookers in absolute awe. Rihanna was also one of few celebrities to wear something from a Chinese designer. Guo Pei's dresses are handmade and can take upwards of 50,000 hours of hard work and craftsmanship to create. By one Chinese woman, women. it took two years to make this. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.